All right, welcome back everybody. Um, we are gonna be working on the 4.3 worksheet, Angles of Elevation and Depression, and this will be your homework help video. So as always, I will go through and do the evens, which is gonna leave the odds for you. Fortunately for me, number two is already a skip, so that's gonna be one problem I'm not gonna to have to do. I'm gonna start on problem number four. It says the angle of depression from the top of a building to a point on the ground is 32 degrees. How far is the point on the ground from the base of the building if the building is 252 meters high? So first thing I want to do is I just want to draw a little bit of a picture. So I have my building. I know that this is 252 meters tall. We are being told that the angle of depression from the top of the building to a point on the ground is, I believe they say, 32 degrees. So what that means is if we were to sit there and extend out the horizontal... Right? The horizontal is, of course, going to run parallel to the ground. That if I were to look down 32 degrees, I would see this point on the ground. Right? I look down. That's the angle of depression. And our question is, how far is the point on the ground from the base of our building? So we want to find x in this situation. Now, as we know, since our top is going to make a parallel line to our ground, that dotted line makes a parallel, we know this will be a 90 degree angle. So 90 minus 32 is going to tell us that that angle in the top left of the corner here is 58 degrees. As soon as we know that that is 58 degrees, x would be the side opposite of that. And since the right angle is here, we know that this must be the adjacent side. So since we know the adjacent side is 252 meters and we are looking to find x, we can set up a trig ratio. We're going to use tangent in this one because we want to find the opposite and we know the adjacent. So we're going to say the tangent of our 58 degree angle is going to be equal to x over 252. Now looking at that, we are going to want to multiply both sides by 252 to solve this. So I'm going to get 252 times the tangent of 58 degrees is equal to x, which is what we were trying to find. So punching that in, 252 times the tangent of 58 degrees is equal to 403 uh, point, let's just call it 28 meters away, right? So the distance on the bottom would be 403.28. Let's take a look at another problem, problem number six here. It says a video camera is being mounted on the or mounted on a bank wall so as to have a good view of a head taller or head teller sorry head taller didn't make a lot of sense for the angle of depression that lens should make I'm sorry find the angle of depression that the lens should make with the camera if the camera is mounted 5.93 feet off the ground and the teller is 12.02 feet um, from the ground beneath the camera so over here we'll start our picture again so we have our wall that the camera is going to be mounted on. Um, our head teller, they're going to stand over there. Now we do know that the camera is mounted 5.93 feet off the ground and that the teller stands 12.02 feet away. 12.02 feet away. And what we want to know is what should the angle of depression be to give us this? Now, remember, this one's kind of a little bit unique. So if our camera was sitting right up here, our camera should be looking straight out. So what we really want to find is how far do we need to drop to hit that line, right? That's really what X is. Now, in our particular situation, we are going to be able to use what we know to figure out what Y is, and then we're going to have to work backwards to figure out what X is. So in our situation, since we know the opposite side, and the adjacent side, we're gonna be able to use tangent. So we're gonna say tangent of angle Y or is gonna be equal to 12.02 over 5.93. Now, coming over here, since I'm looking for the angle, remember this is when we wanna use tangent inverse. So tangent inverse of 12.02, 5.93, we switch those locations should be equal to y. So second tangent of 12.02 divided by, not times, divided by 5.93. And when I punch that out, I get that y is equal to 63.74 degrees. 
Now, again, what we wanted to find is we actually wanted to find the angle of depression. So that's what X is in this situation. So coming over here, if we know that this is 63.74 degrees, then if I take 90 minus 63.74, that's gonna leave me with the 26.26 that this is. So 26.26 degrees is what we are left with up top. Uh, taking a look at problem number eight. It says the length of a shadow of a building is 34 meters tall. I'm sorry, the length of the shadow of a building, 34 meters tall, is 37.62 meters. That could be worded so much better. Find the angle of elevation with the sun. So what we have here is we have our building. What we know about the building is that the building is 34 meters tall. Now the building is currently casting a shadow that is 37.62 meters. Now, way up here in the sky, we have a lovely little thing called the sun. And that sun is shining down. It's gonna hit the corner and then it's going to form the shadow. So we're gonna get the other side of our triangle showing up like so. I'm gonna shorten up this line, I drew it too long. Okay, so this is at 37.62. Now it says find the angle of elevation um, of the sun. So what that's saying is if we're looking for the angle of elevation, how far do we need to look up in order to see the sun? So if I was over here at the edge of the shadow, how far do I need to look up to figure that out? So we're just gonna call this angle theta at this point. So in this situation, again, we know um, the opposite side, which is 34, and we know the adjacent, so we are gonna use tangent. So tangent of our angle theta is going to be equal to 34 over 37.62. Right, the opposite over the adjacent. Since we're looking for the angle, we're gonna use tangent inverse. 34 over 37.62 will be equal to theta. So second, tangent inverse of 34 divided by 37.62 gives us 42.11. degrees. So how far do I need to look up to see the sun? 42.11 degree. Um, number nine. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. I do the even. So like, it looks like you guys bet, take the benefit on number nine. You get to skip that problem. Let's look at problem number 10. It says a 150 foot building casts a 30 foot shadow. So here is my building. 150 foot tall. It's casting a 30 foot shadow. It's a real short guy. So there's a shadow coming to there. It says, if a person stands at the end of this shadow and looks up to the top of the building, what is the angle of the person's eyes to the top of the building? Assume the person's eyes are five feet above the ground. So we have a person over here that's gonna stand right at the edge of the shadow and they are going to tilt their head and look up towards the edge of the building. So over here, that's his normal eyesight, five feet off the ground. He want, we wanna know what is his angle of elevation that he needs to change as he looks up. So in this situation, we know a couple things. The bottom or the length of his eyes to the building are still gonna be 30, but the building being 150 feet tall is great, but it, from where his eyesight would have made contact with it, we're trying to form this right triangle, would only be 145 since we know he his eye or line of eyesight is five feet off the ground. So in this situation, we would do tangent of theta would be equal to the opposite, which is 145, over to the adjacent, which is 30. We're looking for the angle, so we're gonna do tangent inverse of 145 over 30. That's gonna be equal to theta. So second, tangent of 145 divided by 30 is 78.31. So theta ends up being equal to 78.31 degrees. So he's got to tilt his head up quite a ways in order to see it. Um, that is it for this homework help video. If you have any questions, please make sure you are reaching out and asking. Thank you guys so much for watching the full video. I hope you're doing well.